Optician Lesson 3, Strabismus and Amblyopia. In this lesson, we'll be learning causes and symptoms of strabismus, strabismus in children, strabismus in adults, how to treat strabismus, how old before amblyopia can be treated, vision therapy glasses, and prism lenses. So let's start with causes and symptoms of strabismus. Strabismus is a condition often referred as cross-eyed, but in medical terms, uh, it's not often used because patients just don't like it, but it is a cross-eyed condition of the eyes. It occurs when each eye's six muscles, total 12, can't work together to focus both eyes on target. Strabismus can result in amblyopia, in which the brain blocks or blurs the signal from one or both eyes. There are four types of strabismus. Let's go over them with a picture. Esotropia, the one or both of the eyes, as you can see, moves inward toward the nose. Exotropia, exo means out. Uh, the eye turns outward. One or both of the eyes turn outward in exotropia. Hypertropia, one or both of the eyes move up, and hyper means up or above. Hypertropia, one or both of the eyes move downward to focus on the target, and hypo means down, under, or below. So that's a hint for you to memorize. Strabismus in children. Nearly 5% have this, and it's often present at birth. Congenital strabismus. Especially common in premature babies and children with developmental problems like Down syndrome or cerebral palsy. It's important to note most kids with strabismus have no other health problems. Accommodating strabismus, aka accommodative esotropia. So as we learned in the previous lesson, accommodation is a natural process for farsighted people to focus on an object. In this lesson, we'll learn about another natural process, convergence. But let's first talk about what it is. Accommodating strabismus is, this happens in kids who are hyperops, farsighted, because the eyes are overconverging when trying to focus on a nearby object. Convergence is a natural process of turning of the eyes to focus on a near object. So, so what happens is, as I'll show you in this diagram, uh, what happens is in farsighted people, the, um, the light doesn't hit the cornea, like right here, uh, the retina, I'm sorry the light goes past the retina and is you know like right here past and um process of accommodation brings back that uh, um, the light back to the retina so it can hit the retina correctly and what convergence does is with accommodation or during accommodation um, it also, you know, turns the eyes inward, hence it's called accommodative esotropia, to focus on a near object. So along with accommodation, the eyes are turning inward to focus on a near object. When does this happen? This type of strabismus occurs between the ages of two and six. Fortunately, accommodated strabismus, unlike most strabismus, tends to diminish as children get older. So unlike other strabismus, this one actually goes away as children get older. Strabismus in adults. People can develop strabismus if they suffer a head trauma, have a stroke, have epilepsy, or multiple sclerosis, or develop brain tumors. Thyroid conditions and nerve or muscle disorders can also cause this problem. Constant strabismus is the eye is always turned. Uh, intermittent strabismus, a popular guy, Abraham Lincoln, had this. 
the I is turned sometimes and normal other times. I usually turns when people are more stressed or sick. People with intermittent strabismus often have headaches and double vision because the brain may still be trying to use the input from the other eye, which can lead to amblyopia. Remember from previous lessons that amblyopia is the lazy eye disease. Note for children and adults. Strabismus dramatically affects eyesight because it interferes with depth perception or stereopsis, diffusing of images from the two eyes into a clear image. Stereopsis is what allows us to see in three dimensions. How to treat strabismus. Treatment is based on patient's needs. The most common tools we use to treat strabismus are eye muscle surgery and vision therapy. Arthoptic means straight eyes. After eye surgery, people usually get this form of vision therapy. It involves using instruments to help realign the eyes. Other forms of vision therapy for strabismus is the approaches you'll use in vision therapy include eye exercises, computer programs, lenses, prisms, eye patches, and eye hand coordination exercises. So anything uh, that can help a patient with strabismus, they'll do in vision therapy. Why doesn't surgery alone fix the problem? When a person who's had misaligned eyes for some time has surgery to align the eyes, the straightened eye has to start using a different part of the retina. Vision therapy exercises train a new part of the retina to receive signals so it can send it to the brain for proper vision. Note, vision therapists need a separate examination if you want to become an orthoptist. That's what they are called. How old before amblyopia cannot be treated? Usually after the age of six, it is almost impossible to treat amblyopia and the person has to suppress the input from one eye 100% of the time, making them monocular or mono means one ocular is eyes, one eyed. Some surgeons will cosmetically straighten the eye with eye muscle surgery. Sometimes this surgery isn't successful and the eye is still turned. In these cases, cosmetic options such as slightly tinted lenses and lenses with prisms are available. Note, some very rare cases of amblyopia can still be treated with combination of glasses, vision therapy, and eye patching, along with eye drops, special eye drops, to force the children to use the eye with amblyopia, which is their correct eye. Vision therapy, glasses, and prism lenses. Main purpose of these glasses and lenses is these special lenses used in vision therapy help train the brain and eyes to function correctly together. Important note here would be these glasses and prism lenses do not help someone see better, but instead train the brain and eyes to function correctly together. Prism lenses have a thick base and a thin apex. The thicker base of prism lens slows down the light passing through it, while the thinner apex lets the light through more quickly. As a result, the light bends toward the base as it leaves the prism. Prism displaces an image, making it appear in a different direction. This moves the patient's eye in the desired direction. As a result, the eye will appear straight and the relocated image will allow the two eyes to work together better. Who is it for? Usually children between the ages of two and six and base of prism lenses can be changed depending on strabismus condition. We can use prisms to train the eye to move in a different direction if the eyes are turned too far in, out, up or down, while reading or looking at in a distance. So that is strabismus and amblyopia. 
If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in lesson four. Thank you.